Well guys, it is Brenda back here with you. And uh, I want to do a little follow-up video on today's episode of What's the Right Shot. And this is going to be a mindset, a mental, yeah, uh, focus in terms of... The big thing here is that you got to be okay to stay in the point. And I think too often what happens is we start looking for the exit too, too early rather than taking what you're given. And for example, right here where <laughs> you're not really given an opportunity to try to rip a winner. And I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I, just, I hear too often, or I, you know, I read too often where someone says, hey, in this situation, I would just rip it for a winner up the line. I would rip it for a winner between the two guys. And okay, you know, if that's your mindset, and I'm not saying it is, but you got to be careful because too often, uh, we're, we just end up going for it and missing rather than let's work the point a little bit longer and, and take our time to find a really good opportunity. And sometimes it's okay to play a shot where you actually sort of move the guy. As I talked about in, in the episode earlier today of what's the right shot, let's see if we can move him somewhere in the court and now, as you can see, as someone commented earlier, this is the reverse stagger, right? And, and I really do believe in the stagger in terms of my opponents, the stagger alignment in terms of court positioning for them when they're both up at net is the, is the player who's directly in front of me, uh, Paul, who's in the white shirt. He's the one that's going to be up close. And the guy who's cross court, in the blue shirt is going to be the one who is in the sort of in the back third, if you will, of that service box. But right now, because because uh, because my video is not moving, <laughs> there we go. Um, is I've moved him to see if I can get him to play a ball down low and then just stay there, right? And that's the case. And so now what I'm thinking is, okay, well, my opportunity is not to rip up the line, not to rip in the middle, but it's to go ahead and throw up a lob. And let's see if I can go for the longest distance and the longest distance, meaning that, right, uh, baseline to baseline, straight line is 78 feet, but maybe cross court to a corner. Maybe you got another extra foot or 18 inches or something. I'm not sure what the exact measurement is. But I'm thinking, worst case, at least maybe I can back this guy off, right? And maybe that'll change the positioning. That'll change where the next shot, right? Where it's okay to stay in the point, where that next shot is going to be maybe easier. Now, look, okay, this is, if I can pull this off every time, hmm, should be in the tour, right? If I could teach this to you, that'd be worth, that'd be worth something, right? Um, all right, so there you have it. I just want you to feel that it's okay to stay in the point for as long as you have to until you feel that you really get an opportunity. And yeah, sometimes the opportunity might be to hit a really, you know, high quality groundy up the line, high quality groundy in the middle, you know, something. But other times it's just, you got to wait, you got to wait your turn, got to wait for the right moment to be able to have an opportunity, and there it is. Guys, write down below. Let me know what's on your mind. And, and more from the mental part of this thing, um, you know, what, what might have resonated with this follow-up video today of what's the right shot. Down below, love to read what's on your mind. And look, speaking of mental, one of the things that, you know, we're, we're talking about being comfortable staying the point, one of the things that... that that will give you confidence for this concept, this, this concept is what you do between points is, you know, whatever routine you go through between points. And for me, I've got a four parts between point system that has worked really well for me. And I know it has for a lot of my, my students. And uh, so look, if you want to get a hold of that video, it's a relatively short nine minute video that takes you through each one of the very four specific parts of my between point system. It's a free video. The link is down below. 
click it and you can get access to it. Guys, that's it for me today. Uh, as always, time for us all to get out there. Help someone else have a spectacular day. Gang, see you again next time.